So if you've ever heard the 19th century folk song, O Shenandoah, you understand the beauty and the majesty of the Shenandoah River here in the state of Virginia. Now, welcome to another episode of Life with Zach, where I'm going to talk about part of that river, or specifically the North Fork of the Shenandoah River. Uh, today, we're going to discuss um, what forms that part of the river, uh, where it flows from, some unique things about it, um, and some of the things you can do on the river, um, some of the places you can access it, and why it really is um, a wonderful and beautiful waterway here in the Commonwealth. So the Shenandoah River, or specifically the North Fork of the Shenandoah River, flows for about 55 miles from northern Rockingham County through to Front Royal, Virginia. There it connects with the South Fork of the Shenandoah River to form the Shenandoah River, which then flows on to the Potomac at Harper's Ferry in West Virginia. Now, the North Fork forms around the Burkton community, which was is in the northwestern part of Rockingham County, uh, where several creeks and streams and things um, kind of come together. And then the river meanders down and meets its principal feeder, which is the German River, which flows into it in this northern part of Rockingham County. Uh, the river flows from there northeast, which means it actually flows in the opposite direction of most rivers. Uh, if you s many rivers uh, around the world flow from south to north, uh, this one actually flow, or excuse me, from north to south. The North Fork actually flows from south to north, uh, which means when people in the valley talk about going up the valley or upstream of the river, they're actually going south, which is something very unusual compared to most river valleys. All right. So the river flows north from this area in Burkton, Rockham County, northern Rockham County, and then turns and flows kind of along the Massanutten Mountain, which is a range that uh, kind of traverses the middle of the valley, creating uh, kind of like a spine um, in this area. Uh, now, the river drains, which is the area that other uh, waterways flow into it, covers just over a thousand square miles. So it actually is a pretty big area that drains into this North Fork of the Shenandoah River, which is the majority of Rockingham County, Shenandoah County, and Warren County. Uh, now some of the tributaries or the major ones that flow into it are again, the German River, Smith Creek, Linville Creek, Shoemaker River, Little Dry River, Turley Creek, Runyon's Creek, Passage Creek, Tom's Brook, and Cedar Creek. Uh, now the river bottom, uh, the stone that it is flowing across of, is native limestone. Uh, which is really unique to the Shenandoah Valley. And what it does is the river flows across that, it picks up the nutrients and things from the limestone, and over time has deposit deposited those in the soils along the riverbanks and in the Shenandoah Valley, which has made uh, this area one of the more fertile areas in not only the state of Virginia, but in the United States for growing crops and for agricultural production. Um, so that has, the river and the limestone has really led to the largest uh, part of our local economy uh, and the thing that we are most known for, which is our agricultural heritage. Now the river also, as it moves through, uh, passes through some of the most unique and beautiful scenery um, in the state, in the region, and probably I would say in the world. Um, where you get beautiful views of mountains, um, farm scenes, forest, uh, basically beautiful parts of nature uh, that you're not going to see anywhere else. Now, the river itself throughout the area that it flows is relatively shallow uh, when compared to other rivers. And the majority of the places are easy to wade. So there's a lot of easy access off of shoreline to wade in for either fishing or swimming. Uh, there's also deep holes in the river. Uh, so you always have to be ca careful when swimming, but there are areas where you can get some real swimming in, okay? Um, some areas, 
especially on the shoreline, one to two feet deep. Uh, but you do find those bit deeper areas that are good for swimming. Um, now, the one thing about this river is the majority of spots are not powerboat friendly. So you can sign, like you can put um, a big boat in the river, uh, like you see can in some other places. Some places like metal John boats and things like that you can use. Um, but don't expect to be able to get on a boat and go up and down the river. Instead, what's really good uh, about the North Fork is the floating opportunities. So floating in kayaks, floating in canoes, floating in tubes, um, and be able to use those to move on the river. Um, it's great for that because of the scenic beauty, uh, the fact that it flows relatively slowly. Um, there's a couple minor water areas, uh, but nothing that you can't, number one, go around or even flow over as long as you're careful. Uh, but the majority of it is just kind of this easy going, easy flow, meandering river that's really easy and really nice to just float along on. So that's one of the things that the river is really known for. Now, if you are floating or doing anything on the river, uh, there are some things that can create obstacles. Um, so there are six dams that have been built at various times along the river, uh, going from Timberville and Northern Rockham County through to Riverton in Warren County. There also are a larger number of low water bridges. Um, if you want to know what a low water bridge is, check out my other video on low water bridges in the area, and I'll provide a link down below. But basically, those present an obstacle in the river. So if you're floating, trying to do something in the river, you're going to have to get out and go around these dams in these low water bridges. Now, if you need to access a river, realize that the majority of the riverbank is private property. So you can't just go into someone's property and get on the river, but there is public access. And um, I, because I live in Shenandoah County, it was able to find that. We provide the public access spots in Shenandoah County, but I know there are numerous ones in Rockingham County and there are numerous ones in Warren County. But here in Shenandoah County, we have uh, public access near the intersection of New Market Depot Road and Plains Mill Road in New Market, Virginia, at the Mims Bottom Covered Bridge near Mount Jackson, uh, at Red Banks Road in Edinburgh, uh, Chapman's Landing Road also in Edinburgh, off of Hollingsworth Road in Woodstock, at the Seven Bend State Park, um, at Lupton Road in Woodstock, and if you're interested in learning more about that state park, I have numerous videos on my channel about that, and I'll share some of the links in the description. Uh, there's Deer Rapids in Strasburg near Funk Road and at the Strasburg Town Park. Now, all of these public access have some limited parking. Some of them have um, hand uh, boat ramps. Uh, one or two, I think Chapman's Landing has like kind of a concrete ramp. Um, but there are places that you can park and get into the river. Um, a couple of them are rather small and don't have a lot of facilities or just like a spot where you can get in, but all of them do provide some type of public access to the river um, for the communities that want to enjoy and use it. Like I said, there's also several in Rockingham and Warren County. Uh, now, what are some of the threats and things that go on to that affect the river? So currently the river is impacted by excessive nutrients. Um, that comes in through runoff. It comes in through um, pollutant releases that have occurred over the years. And what this is doing is it's promoting the growth of algae and plants in the river. And then this growth of algae and plants then kind of chokes out the life that's in the river. So the fish um, and other animals that, that call the river home because it chokes out the oxygen, um, it increases the river temperature, all that stuff, which is kind of threatening the river. All right. Uh, there's also issues with maintaining adequate flow because of the demands on the river of the local population. Uh, there's issues with water access, um, providing enough access, but also those public access areas being used in ways that respect the river and don't damage the river. Uh, there's problems with pollution that comes in from 
all types of places, farm runoff, industrial runoff, uh, just regular street runoff that sometimes flows directly into the river, um, stuff that people dump into the river. There's problems in a lot of places with erosion um, as the river is uh, being impacted and changing the riverbanks and things in negative ways. And there's a big problem with trash. Like if you've ever been on the river, you don't see a lot of trash like floating in the river and stuff, which is really nice. But the banks, there's issues with trash of uh, people stopping to do like picnics and stuff when they use the river at those public access points. Um, trash builds up. People don't take care of it. And then in the river, stuff that people have dropped. So, you know, the river itself is beautiful and it's not like some other rivers where you may just see trash floating around. But, you know, we need to be aware and take care of the river in terms of trash and being able to take care of it so that it can continue to take care of us and provide us with, um, you know, natural beauty for a long time and fresh drinking water and things. Because the river also provides the water supply for several county towns in Rockingham, Shenandoah, and Warren County. It is their primary and in almost all cases, their only form of water supply. Um, so that is a major use of the river. It also provides water for farms, for irrigation, um, for, you know, livestock, things like that. Um, so the river can, is used heavily, not just in recreation, uh, but in terms of commercial purposes. So I hope you enjoyed this discussion of the North Fork of the Shenandoah River, which I will say is one of the most beautiful um, rivers in the country, I think, and has created one of the most beautiful river valleys probably in the world. Um, so definitely be sure to check it out. Like I said, there'll be some links to some of the other videos where I talk about how to access it uh, and some of the cool places that surround it. So be sure to check those out. Um, if you've liked this video, hit like. Always love to hear feedback from people or other information about the river. So leave a comment. And if you find value in this video and this channel, click the subscribe button. Um, I love to know that people are following me and it will let you know when new videos come out so you don't miss those. So thanks again for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful day.